Good morning. morning. Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around this way. I've been busy. I thought you were sweating a little. That's just from the heat. Well, there it is. Mm hmm. Gentlemen, sir, how do you do? How do you do, sir? Morning. Hello. Excuse me. For the capture or kidding of Camille de Minimal, he's a member of the Des Moines Raiders, wanted for stealing state property, crimes against officers of the state, and the murder of a postal mail career. He's French, the scene in the region of Catfish Jacksons. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're just railway workers here. Back so soon? Not instruments of tyranny or however they phrase it. The camp's abandoned? So nobody's home or did something happen to them? The fire is still lit, so they must be close. Don't mind if I do. Crap, they're coming back. Good work, my friend. I am proud of you, horse. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. Look here! Well, they know I'm here. Don't want to scope. No. I should have a plan before going through these things. I'm back. I want you alive. Okay, now we know how not to approach a camp. Now it's just him. This tree is not helping. You're lucky, I wanted you alive. For some reason. Tell me if this ain't tight enough. Get your fifty rope up me, you peasant. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> You're making a big mistake. I'm making some easy money. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, well, blame your parents for that, not me. <laughs> Burn. No criminal. I fight for you, for all of us, for our future. We gonna save you, Camille de Milmont! Taking you to State House! Well, we wiped that smite off your face, bounty hunter! Yeah. Go on, boys! Kill this son of a bitch! Dude, there's no one left. I hope for your sake you're not here for him. Good choice. Need hierarchy, they crave it. It is the foundation of civilization. 
Well, I guess I just ain't that civilized then. Please, take my advice. Better to face the truth now, uncomfortable as it is, and when it's already too late. Here we are. You're making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Let's go. I got the middle mark, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Thomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problems. Too damn noisy for folks good. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the last of us. I'll be looking forward to it. This is gonna be interesting. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free... What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Okay... Uh, you should know the artworks are not... I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Well, hold on. Let me compose myself. So, where are the paintings? That is Greek. Or could be Roman. Some photographies. Hey, I have the photographer, didn't I? Yep, I remember this one. You know, it's Italian most likely. I almost died during this one. Might just be from someone over in Blackwater. <laughs> Guys, I'm a model. That is the most beautiful photo I've ever seen. Are there more? Eh, no, it's just the paintings. Far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. You filthy little man. Oh. Oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Right. I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. I'm starting to feel at home now.
let me take my hat back. Do rich douches carry any money? Nothing. Just pretentious morons. I doubt she will be an angel after this night. What? Take it easy with that stuff. This is taking it easy. Sure, keep telling yourself that. This is Ed. Evening. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. Miss O'Shea. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. That's because you keep drinking. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. Some of us. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid and... That was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. That's a good Where attitude. Let's go. I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Yeah. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No, 
She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her, anyway? I think I saw one of the foremen's hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. But you don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. What does she mean about me especially? I'm in love with a guy. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. And in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Sure, man. <laughs> Hello, fellas. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. Shouldn't I check the other room? I thought there was. Uh... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front of the boat. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with him yet. All right. Get after them. Okay, lady, you gotta hit them. Oh, look at these cowards! Oh, Not, but our horse is carrying two people. He isn't. Come on, get him, Arthur. Go on, rope that bastard. That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. Are you going to tie him up? You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take 
take his horse. Hey. Now the fun starts. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastards. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. Just you shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Watch you now. Who the hell? Son of a bitch. alive then? Yes. Ah. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Where are you? Come on. Let's get you home. Now get out of here. to Scarlet Meadows, site of the famous battle in the war, all ten young lives lost. That's you. Hosea? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. The old friend Dutch Vandal Lind is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find some. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, 
I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Am I the only one who feels naked now? Sup. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Bronte is a... Why is Bill walking like he has man. something stuck in his ass? Senor Napoli? As long as the man behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. I got subtitles, you bastard. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Ani High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a confederate major in the war, I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife, it's unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> what a giant douche.